Okay, first I want you to make three observations of the flame on your paper, and this will be the one anywhere on the, uh, the side that says qualitative, quantitative, side the one four. Three observations. So we're looking right here. Let's make your observations here. Three observations. First observation. If you could look closely at the flame, you'll find that the flame at the wig is blue. Flame at the wig is blue. Okay. The second region of the flame is above the wig, and it is what? There's a halo sort of of what color? Can you may see it? It's not yellow. The yellow is the top part. What's in the middle of the flame? It's not orange. No. Sort of black, isn't it? See that? Sort of black in here, inside the flame. And then the third, the third part of the flame is the yellow uh, at the top. So we have made three observations. Blue at the wig, black in the middle, yellow on top. All right, and those three observations are qualitative or quantitative? Qualitative, that's right. It's all color. Description. So let's get right down to business. What is it that is burning in the candle? That's the question. That's where you wrote an observation. If you'll watch closely, I'm going to blow this one out and relight it without touching the wick. You ready? Okay, do you see that? I should let you try it in a minute, but I'm going to blow it out, okay, and watch where I put the second candle. Okay, you see that? What did I lie? The smoke. The smoke. So that would imply what's burning, the, the wick, the wax, or the smoke, what would be the chemical word for smoke? Uh, vapor. Oh. Vapor. So what is it that is burning in the candle, the wax, the wick, or the vapor? Vapor. So the candle wax melts, which is dried around the wick. The wick holds the candle wax together. The candle wax melts as the candle wax melts and then vaporizes uh, through the flame. Uh, it begins to burn. Okay? All right, push it off. 